Welcome to the City of Boise Planning Development Services ePlan Review 9.2 training presentation. In this training presentation, I'm going to go over how to submit your pre-screen task within the new system. Today, I will be showcasing what that looks like on a building application for a 406 remodel. And this is the test environment in which I am going to log in as a applicant. When you first log into the ePlan 9.2 version, you will notice that your task is ready to go right here off the task page. I can accept my task by clicking on the applicant upload task here, or I can go over to projects to look at all existing or current projects. I can click on the case number, or I can click on this project task action item. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and get into the tasks page. Once on the task page of the project, I'll notice as an applicant I have the link here and the button. These both do essentially the same thing and they open up your task for you to sign off. There is no confirmation that has gone away within the new upgrade, so as soon as you click on one or the other, it will open up for you to view. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the accept button and no confirmation, it just opens up. We we'll want to make sure that your pop-up blockers are enabled so you can navigate the system. And we'll notice that within the new uh, field, there are some step-by-step -step guides. Under the Learn How video button right here, you'll notice that there is a walkthrough tutorial. And under the Invite Others tab is the option to invite additional users to the group. I've invited Brianna already. Now, going through the year, I'm going to notice that there is the first step, which is your uploading of files, your drawings, and documents. This has been broken out into two buttons, an upload drawings and an upload documents button. Be able to kind of streamline their process on this portion. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload drawings, and it just opens up the browse for files window that is familiar within our current system. and from this point on, I can click on the Browse for Files button, which will open up my hard drive computer to view the documents I wish to upload. I can highlight multiple ones and hit Open. They all load here. And there is some color coding at the bottom to let you know on what files might be discarded if they're duplicates and uh, version uploads. And then you have orange, which is just the new uploads. So right here, we're going to go up to the top of the page. And underneath the start upload, once I click on that, I'll notice the process start. And this is the real neat item. Once it uploads everything, you get a green confirmation message. And it returns back to the page. Now it's time to upload the documents. I've already done my drawings, site plans, and all the required information. And underneath your documents, it's the same window. It opens up your browser files option, which if I open up, I can go over and navigate to the documents portion of my project. I'm going to select multiple and start the upload. Once again, the window does close out. So underneath the files, you'll notice that they have all listed out here with the status. The next step is the confirmation. This serves as that OK button, which is in the current system. Now you have this confirmation that is also at the bottom of the page. And then you walk down to step three. And you can either save this for later, meaning you can go and compile your drawings and documents and then come back to reopen the task, or you can click Upload, Complete, and Submit Plans. Once you do this, uh, make sure you let the processing spinner continue, because what it's doing is it's generating the uploads and attaching them to your review cycle for the City of Boise staff members to start their review. You'll notice that your task will 
disappear. And if I open up the workflow designer, the green icon has moved off of applicant upload and now into hillside check to make sure uh, the pre-screen process starts. So anything right here is being handled by the city of Boise. Anything you see here in yellow. And if I if they have any additional questions or corrections to be made to my drawings and documents, they'll work through the workflow back to me.